Greetings and salutations, you guys, it's Hayden here. Welcome to the video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today at the Goodwill in um, Los Angeles. This is the Goodwill flagship store. I've been here, I brought you guys a bunch of times already so far, and it's one of my favorite stores, so come and check it out. You can also head over to the Goodwill bins, the outlet, where everything is by the pound. Check it out, see what you can find. Super duper fun. There's also a ton of Goodwills in the area, so you can like make a whole day out of it. Just go to all the stores, and it's like a blast. So, uh, but first of all, if you guys have thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, home decor videos, all that fun stuff. Do not forget to subscribe to the little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Adrian. Just like it's spelled here. Check out my shop. It's Adrian.com to see whatever sale from my thrifting adventures. So without further ado, let's hop into the store and go check it out. Let's go! Alright, let's go to the store. Oh look, it says Joe Rogan something up there too. <laughs> yeah, some cam oh my gosh, I literally used to have that digital camera. That Sony one. <clears throat> they have jewelry in a jar. Bunch of different jewelry pieces. No bags today in there though. What is this? Seems like they're from magazine thing. But I'm just looking through the handbags. It looks like a Chloe. Let's see if we can find anything interesting. This is not a Danny and Burke. No, it's like something else. Um, I did find this one up at the front, like when I first walked in. It's British made. It's like, I thought it was a Cambridge bag, but it's not, but it's still pretty cool. It's missing this little end cap finial thing. I'm gonna call it finial, I know it's not a curtain rod, but it's missing that, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless. So, uh, $11.99. This one is kinda cute though. It's like a little burgundy style looking bag. Antonio Milani. I'm gonna go around the corner right here because there are more bags on the other side. Why oh, is this like kind of cool looking? Express. I like the colors. Okay, this is cool. Any cool bags? Let us see. Look at that little doggy over there. What is this? Kind of looks like a Louis Vuitton, but it's not. Um, a V Italia. Oh, it has like peeling on the corners. Kind of like this bad look though. Steve Madden. What is this? Oribe obsessed. I love Oribe hair stuff. <laughs> Their stuff is really nice. This one kind of looks like a Celine, but I'm pretty sure it's like, not. Divided H&M. Thought so. I knew like there was like an H&M or something that did a very similar bag. What is this one? Let's see. Um, no. What is this? This J. Crew collection. Oh. I think. Oh, this bag is still here. This is that um, Oriani bag. $14.99. I'm waiting for it to go on sale and see if it's still here. That would be pretty cool if it was. Uh, what is this? Hype. What is this? Michael Kors. Ooh, $40 though. I think we'll pass. This one might be a coach. This is 20 bucks. Oh, it is a coach. Mm. That one is a Jacqueline Smith. And then we have like this beaded fringe bag right here. Oh, check it out. This is a Kate Spade. Ooh, it has like color transfer from 10 marks. And it's 11 dollars so it's probably gonna be a no. But hey, Kate Spade. C and D. That is not Christian Dior. I wonder what else we can find. Okay, I'm in the backpack section. I always like to check out this area in case I find like a cool tote or backpack or just like bag in general. Cause sometimes the bags make their way back here. So I like to go through just to check and make sure. I just like to look at the pillows. 
but I don't see anything too exciting or out of the ordinary. This little Jiminy Cricket mug. I've gotten Vine Mentality every little bit and makes a difference. Ooh. These are cute. Are these ceramic? They're like melamine. They're like little cat things. Like bowls or whatever those are. So cute. Anything interesting over here? Uh, oh, an H with a B. How fun. $3.99. Man. You think I'll find any, like, Lake Crusade or anything today? Oh my gosh, this is so cute with the little cats. Cook Smart, Fine China. How adorable. Those are $3.99 each. Let's see if there are any other. <gasps> Talk about manifestation. Lake Rousset mug. <laughs> $2.99. It looks like it's like brand new too. It looks like it's never been used. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to get that. Have to after we manifested that. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> are there any other cool mugs around here? Jeez. Manifest like an Hermes or something. I just noticed a little chip in the handle right there. So I'm not going to get it. But man, we manifested that like literally like right now. Also, I think he's at Princess House. Yep. I have a couple of those plates. How cool. Is it? it looks like it's glowing. It's such a cool piece. I don't know if like some of the finish is like... No, I think that's how it is. That's really pretty. Doesn't look like it's glowing. It's awesome. I feel like this peacock mug's been here for a hot second. These are the haunted dolls. Oh my gosh. Those are exceptionally frightening. <gasps> that one's missing an eye. Oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> oh, there's a, there's a couple pianos over there too. That's cool. Look at that. Pianos. Got a foosball table, bunch of tables in general. Why is the color of the sofa so happy looking? It's like a Mary Engelbart dream. I just want to see where the sofa is from. Oh, it doesn't say. It's $40 though for the sofa. Nice slipcover sofa, you can just take it off and wash it. Alright you guys, just got to Crossroads. This is the one in Studio City, on Laurel Grove, and Ventura. Let's go inside and check it out. You guys, I found this Jason Wu bag. It's 55. I'm pretty sure it's all snake. Made in Italy. Kind of gorgeous. I see a Pro Ones a Scooter wallet. There's Coach. The one with the lips. I think that would be a Claire Vivier pouch. It's kind of cute. Hey guys, okay, so we are back in the house. It's actually a few days later, and I wanted to share with you guys what we ended up getting. And unfortunately, we went to um, a couple Crossroads stores, and I already sold most of the items that we found at Crossroads. I'm so sorry. I didn't even get to film this in time. I already mailed out those items. So uh, if you guys, like, want to see what I find first... And before, like, these videos, like, for, like, the thrifting videos go up, uh, I usually will, like, show you guys what I find, like, um, during the week on Friday and then Saturday. So, I go thrifting, my thrifting from Monday to Friday, I show you guys in the Friday sale, and then on Saturday, I go all out and go to a bunch of different stores, and then on Saturday night, when I have the sale, that's the items that I find on that day. So if you guys want to see the items and get first dibs on them um, during the live sales, like, please uh, join. They are so much fun, and I have a blast with you guys. Um, but yeah, so just know, <laughs> unfortunately, a lot of that, the items I already got. I think I only have three left from what I actually bought, so. Uh, but let me show you guys what I did get from the Goodwill. Um, it's got some good stuff. Okay, so let's start off 
with we went to two was it I think two Goodwills. Um so let's start off first with this Mark by Mark Jacobs bag, this little black satchel. It's uh I love this guy. It has a double zip top and then the interior, the middle portion just opens up with a magnetic snap, a zipper pocket, and then two open pockets. This guy was twenty dollars, but she's cute. I love it. Really fun, nice modern style. And of course, my battery is dying. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, really great black Mark by Mark Jacobs satchel. I think I've had this style like a couple times before in the shop, and uh, I like this silhouette a lot. So it's nice and modern, but still like classic. So I got that guy. Then up next, I have this beautiful coach. Um, this is like a coach tote bag, but it also has um, like the crossbody strap D rings on the side, so you can attach a crossbody strap. This one does not come with one, unfortunately. Um, if I can find one that kind of matches that I have, I'll attach it with it. But um, it's still a great tote bag. It says like a Safiano type leather, has a front pocket and a back pocket, which is nice. It zips all the way across the top. This is comparable to like maybe the Neverfull MM size from Louis Vuitton. And the inside is just cotton lined with one zipper pocket and then two open pockets in the interior. And it's a great, great bag. Love the style. I think this one, how much was this one? Did I already lose the price tag on this? I think the price tag fell off. I think it used to be sitting on the front of the bag, but I think it fell off. But I think it was like around $10. Okay, so there's that. Then up next, I have uh, this Michael Kors little shoulder bag. Thought this was pretty fun. It's just a nice little shoulder bag. I like the hardware details on the front with the little MK buttons on the flaps. So there's two um, flap pockets and then behind them are two zipper pockets. So lots of compartments in the front, four different pockets to put things in. And then the interior has uh, one zipper pocket and then four open pockets. So even more pockets in there. This one cost $9.99 as well. And oh, it also has a key fob. So there you go. But yeah, it's just a great little hobo shoulder bag. It sits really nicely on your shoulder. And I know like shoulder bags are like really popular right now. And this is a really cool style that has a lot of um, compartments for you to store all your goodies. Then up next, this was a cool find. This is my first time finding this. And this is by a brand called the Leather Satchel Co. It looks very similar to the Cambridge Satchels, but I think this is like one of their direct competitors. They're also from um, the UK. It has a cool like way of cl like closing the bag. It has like this bar that goes like right there. On um, one side is missing the little I, I want to call it a finial because it kind of reminds me of a curtain rod and that's what the ends are called for uh, curtain rods. So it's missing a little finial on the end. I don't know if you can like, if I can find something else to attach to the other side, but then the, it still works perfectly fine regardless. The leather on this is also amazing. It's, see, it feels really, really nice. It's a nice smooth white leather. There's the interior. Um, no interior pockets or anything. It's just like that. It has the top handle which is like this, and then this just like goes through. It also kind of looks like a, a knitting needle. <laughs> and then we have the cross body strap. So just a beautiful backpack. I like it a lot. I love the shape and silhouette, and I love its like, um, how, like how it holds its shape. So I can pre, I appreciate the structure of that bag a lot. And then last but not least, what we have here is this, um, I'm pretty sure, um, is a fake Supreme crossbody bag, but it's like in that, um, black vernise leather and then it says Supreme, goes across, um, it has a pocket in the front, a zipper pocket in the back that says Louis Vuitton, silver hardware, here's the interior, looks like this, with an open pocket, two, op one open pocket and one zipper pocket, and this was $12.99. I mean, it's in great shape. There's like no really any signs of wear on it, but who knows if this is authentic. I'm pretty sure it's not though, but a girl can dream.
the inside is kind of like oh yeah the zipper like inside is like so dinky and cheap and it's also broken so yeah definitely not authentic but really cute regardless so i had to get it it's just like a fun like crossbody bag i can feel like a hype beast you know maybe i'll let john wear it <laughs> i'm like john you want this but yeah super fun so i got that and then I got um, three items from uh, Crossroads that I have here um, to share with you guys. First of which is this really cute Brahmin envelope clutch. It's in kind of like this mahogany burgundy color. This was $32.50, but it was half off. So it was like, what, like $16.25. And it's in really great shape. Um, very minimal signs of wear. There's like a couple little hairline scratches on the little plate right here that says Brahmin, but other than that, it's in beautiful condition. So, got that guy. Then, um, I got this Elizabeth and James, uh, like, bucket bag, draw bucket drawstring bag satchel thing. Um, silver hardware. I love the color of this, and the leather is beautiful. It kind of looks like a washed lamb skin, though I don't know if it actually is lamb or if it's just like washed, like cow leather in general. Let me see if it says it on the tag. Uh, not to. Oh, this was a sample! Okay, well, it doesn't say what it's made out of, but this was a sample. How cool! I didn't even notice that till I looked at it, but it is really, really cute. The color is amazing on this bag. It has a little zipper right here in the back that's actually a pocket, which is really nice. And it even has little feetsies on the bottom, which is always an added bonus. I love the little top handle and I love the crossbody strap, which are both removable. And the crossbody strap is slightly adjustable as well. And I got this one for a little bit, um, of a pricier price at $55, but the color of this is killer. Like, it is stunning. Uh, I don't see bags this color very often, and this is a beautiful, beautiful green color. So very excited about that. And then last, but not least, we have, um, what is this? A Bally, this um, extra large Bally canvas tote bag. We have the Bally B right there, as well as a cute little Bally luggage tag on there. This was $47.50. It's beautiful. I love the size of this, too. Leather handles. And then the interior um, just needs a good vacuuming. There are a couple little pen marks in there, too, but still in good shape. It has one zipper pocket and then two open pockets, and this bag zips all the way closed. So this is, like, a really great work bag or school bag, travel bag. It literally will fit everything in the kitchen sink inside. So... Uh, I got it. It's beautiful. I really, really enjoy this bag. And it's a great size. It also does fit on the shoulder pretty nicely if you want to carry it on your shoulder. Oh, did I say it zips across the top, which is very nice for, like, a travel bag? So that way you can have it fully closed and people can't reach inside your bag. So there you go. Um, that is actually the... End of today's video. Hope you guys had fun checking out what I found today and going to the stores with me. If you guys did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to say hi down below in the comments, especially if you guys are new to the channel. Welcome. So happy to have you guys here. Welcome to Thrift Squad. Tune in tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. for a new video. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, bye.